Hello, my goodness. Hello, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hello, my loves. Marhaba, habibi. I woke up this morning being like, oh, I feel so much less sick today. And then my voice pulls one of those. Um, I'm finally sitting down today to talk to you guys about the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. Um, I've been wearing this guy for a couple weeks, but I thought um, I'd worn it enough times so that I could give you an actual review on it. Uh, this retails for $9.99 on the Milani website. I find, found mine at CVS down when I was in the U.S. Um, Milani here in Canada is sold at Walmart, I've seen it, and actually I've seen it at Superstore. Um, to be fair, I don't think that I've actually seen this foundation here yet. Even in the U.S., I went to a handful of different drugstores, um, CVS, Walgreens, all that kind of thing, and only one of them had uh, this uh, line of foundation. So I think it's still not everywhere, um, so you might want to order online or just have a look around and see where you can find it. There is about, I think, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4. 14 shades, <laughs> um, but this one in creamy vanilla is the lightest one, and it is what's on my face today. I'm about an NC NW25 from MAC, so I'm not super fair, but I'm not, like, I, I'm kind of on that cusp between fair and medium, um, I would say, and so if you are a very, very pale, um, this is it's going to be hard to find a color that works. I mean, you could mix in some, like, white foundation or what have you, um, and that would work fine. I've done that before. I had my, like, MAC face and body in white, and I mixed that in with a lot of things. Um, so you could do that, but finding a shade straight up from this line might be a little bit difficult. That being said, if you've always struggled with not finding shades that were dark enough for you, um, you might actually love that this line comes in, in, in darker shades. The shades are also, from swatches I've seen online and from this one, they're also quite warm toned. Um, so if you have a warmer complected um, coloring, then this will work great for you. Um, I'm going to show you guys a quick demo of me applying it. I've been really enjoying using it with a, with a beauty blender, not a beauty blender, like a makeup sponge. Um, and it gives, with like one layer, it gives about a good solid medium coverage. And it layers really beautifully to give a full, full coverage effect. Um, it doesn't have really a huge smell, not really, I mean a little bit, but nothing crazy, um, and if it does, it dissipates really quickly. I don't find that it oxidizes at all, um, that's a lie, I think it oxidizes a smidge, like not a full shade, but a smidge, it kind of warms up on the skin, um, and so again, that's just something to be a little bit cognizant of. It gives a lovely kind of more matte finish it lasts all day long. Like I'm always surprised at the end of the day how much of my makeup is still on my face. Um, in general, I layer my makeup and that helps my makeup stay throughout the day. But this one stays even stronger. So the other day, what was I doing? I think I was doing lipstick swatches on just like playing around. And I took a makeup wipe and I wiped my my mouth and it wiped a bunch of the makeup off. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to take this. And I never do this. I'm going to take the wake up, makeup wipe, wipe off all my face, and then I'll go double cleanse. And even with me like rubbing at it with a makeup wipe, there were still patches where the foundation was still on my face. So it does have a really good lasting power and you want to make sure that you're washing your face really well um, afterwards. So yeah, this is the bottle itself. It's got like that kind of ombre effect. Um, and then this is, this is technically the color of the foundation. To be fair though, it looks a lot lighter to me than it does, like in this part, than it does on my face. So I would say if you're trying to color match yourself based on the color you see here, um, just assume that it's going to be a little bit darker. And then the cap pulls off and it's a nice little pump. I like the pump is kind of rounded so it like fits your finger really well, which is silly, but it's a nice little detail. Um, so yeah, I think it's a beautiful bottle. Um, glass with a pump at the drugstore, it's great. I think I, I'm not sure if I told you, it's $9.99 on the website if you buy it from the drugstore. Obviously, you can use your coupons and that kind of thing. Um, and let me see if the website says anything that I forgot. So it says, combat under eye circles, redness, and other skin imperfections with this full coverage, water-resistant foundation. Water can, yeah, that, that, that would explain why it didn't like, um, why it's stuck even despite the, the makeup wipe. Um, no mess, no drip pump dispenser, helps put the right amount needed to achieve flawless look and work on the clock to keep your skin looking naturally perfect. I will say though that um, it doesn't look cakey, like even though it's a full face and it looks like you have a full face on, it doesn't look cakey or too much. Um, a lot of you have been asking, because I sometimes if I get ready in the morning and I'm going to go for a run at lunch or in the afternoon, I keep my makeup on. This has been one that has really, really stood 
the test of those runs, especially in this warmer weather. So um, if you're looking for something, and I love that it's at a drugstore price, you could give this guy a try. Um, let's see what they say for application tips. Uh, apply a dime size with your finger or a brush at the center of the face and blending outwards. I say I go I usually use like about a pump and a quarter and that was enough to cover my face with like a full face effect So in terms of how much you need there um, they also say that you could use this as a concealer just in the spots that you need And I think you could totally use it as a concealer too um, in terms of a consistency I'm Trying to think of I haven't done a foundation review in a while <laughs> and so I'm like trying to remember all these things that I need to tell you uh, in terms of the consistency, you've got it right there. So it's it's not super thick, but it's also not um, like super runny either. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Oh, yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. If you guys have tried this and your experience with that, all that kind of good stuff, let us know as well. I'm going to go do some quick points of positivity and then I will be done for the day. My first point of positivity is how this whole... Um, makeup look turned out. I think I use that as a point of positivity when I was doing this get ready with me. Um, but it it I does it is making me happy. I woke up like super sluggish and tired, but um, this makeup is making me happy. My second point of positivity is I started reading a hologram for the king yesterday. I have a new book recommendations video coming at you guys soon. Um, but I started reading that last night and it's been making me smile and then my third point of positivity is I think I think this cold is finally starting to clear up. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, so, yeah, um, that's what's making me smile today. As long as everyone's what's making you guys smile, I will talk to you soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.